we're coming to the point, especially with extreme weather events and climate change, that we need to improve resilience. And without improving carbon in the soil, health of the soil, crops are suffering from it, and, and we're having real big impacts and implications for agriculture. I work within the sustainable farming team as the soil health and carbon farming technical lead for eArmy. I'm originally from the Forest of Dean, so I grew up very rurally in the forest, but not linked to agriculture at all really. I was really interested in science. I wanted it to be part of the Human Genome Project. I, I ended up doing virus genomes, and then through that is how I actually worked with Syngenta. We are in the south of England, in Kent, at one of our conservation ag soil health platform sites where we do long-term studies understanding the impact agriculture has on soil health, looking at tillage, cover crops, organic amendments, and how we can improve and understand the impacts that has, not only for sustainability, but also how does it affect the agronomy of the crop, and then how does it also affect the economics of the farm. This is full farm scale, full farm rotation style analysis of changing practice and the impact on the farming system. And this is really the only way to do an end-to-end -end financial, sustainability and agronomy analysis to understand what that system means for growers. And, and we need to do it long term and we need to do it large scale. We've done soil digs where we've taken a block out and done a VES assessment. So that's a visual assessment of soil structure. We've been doing earthworm counts, so that's the biological element. So we take those same digs and you can process them for how many earthworms there are. And they'll bring down carbon into the, the soil profile, all helping that carbon cycle. And at the end of the day, Carbon is one of those big uh, lead quantifiers of soil health. So every year we take those soil samples, we send them off and we get the chemical analysis. If we do all these elements, it's really important because that's baseline. That gives us the real on the ground data with what is happening because of the practices we're implementing. This is one of our research bases within Syngenta based in the UK. As a R&D organisation and part of what my remit is, we often not only look at what's happening in field with the effects that we're having on soil and carbon, we also want to know exactly why that's happening. We can do controlled environment studies to understand the implications for our varieties, our biostimulants, our practices that we recommend to growers. So we can actually do set compaction testing to see what effect that has on the vigour of roots, which then obviously has implications for their interactions with the field through a season, especially as we go towards lower tillage farming, for instance. Rooting is very difficult to phenotype and get information on because obviously it's in the mass of soil, which means very hard to make observations on. And that's what's nice with Incident, we're starting to, you know, roll up in Terrascan using gamma radiation technology to understand the components of soil for growers. So if we can get that type of technology fully available for our region, that would be phenomenal because then that would improve their decision making, that would be better for the environment, it would improve um, crop production. I think it's one of the biggest aspects of sustainable farming now is talking about soil health, more so than carbon farming or anything else. My perfect dream of the future is we almost have a fully automated um, advice system that is telling the growers sort of almost live what's going on in their fields and how best to optimise for it. One, it's best for them financial wise and the, and the least input possible is best for the environment so we're working in an area of unknowns it, it's just fantastic to be there at the forefront of it and you've got complex trials you've got complex problems you're trying to solve through a huge range of different topics you know carbon farming biodiversity soil health that gets academics excited that gets growers interested and that, that's fantastic what more could you want